Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo 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 Bhagavate Vasudevaya Cheta Cheta Kalu Kalu Asya Asya Bandhaya Bandhaya stage in which the consciousness of the living entity is attracted by the three modes of material nature is called conditional life. But when that same consciousness is attached to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one is situated in the consciousness of liberation. Jita Kalasya Bandhaya Muktai Chatmano Matam Guneshu Shaktang Bandhaya Ratang Bapunshi Muktai Two words, uh, bandhan, bondage, and mukti, liberation. So, people in ignorance, dull headed, mura, they do not know what is mukti and what is bandhan what is liberation and what is bondage. They do not know. Just like animal. The animal, <coughs> he does not know, the dog, that I am bound up in this dog's body. This is bondage. This is not my life. He does not know. Similarly, uh, a human being, if he does not know what is bondage and liberation, then he is animal. From animal life, this human life is evolved uh, for understanding this, uh, what is mukti and what is liberation. Uh. <coughs> so mukti and liberation, uh, if you keep your consciousness materially affected, guneshu saktam, material world means the three qualities, triguna, gunamai. Uh, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, <coughs> gunamai, mamo māyā, māme vaja prabhadyante māyā me tāṅkhara. Trivi gunamai bhāvai. We are being conducted in this material world by three gunas. Satagon, Rajagon, Tamago. Out of these three gunas, the Satagon is the best knowledge, the qualification of Brahman. Satta, Sama, Dhamma, Titikha, Arjava, Jnanam, Vijnanam, Astikam, Brahma, Karma, Sabhavaja. 
one who has developed satogar, then the following qualification will be found in him. Uh, he will be truthful and controlled of the mind, of the senses, satya-sama dhava, titikha, tolerant, arjava, uh, simplicity, uh, jñānam, jñānam, full, full knowledge, vijñānam, practical application of knowledge in life, uh, āstikkam, āstikkam to have full faith in the authority of the Vedas. That is called āstikkam. āstikkam and nāstikkam. Uh, Chaitanya Mahāpuru has explained what is nāstikkam uh, and what is āstikkam. According to uh, Vedic understanding, anyone who does not believe in the Vedas, he is called nāstik. Just like Buddha philosopher, uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Vedna maniya buddha hoila nastik. Ved, uh, Lord Buddha, he defied Vedic authority. His mission was different. He wanted to stop animal killing. Sadaya ridaya dar sita pasu ghatam. The Supreme Lord became so much afflicted by uh, uh, terribly people being attached to killing animals, as they are now doing also. So he was compassionate to stop animal killing and the so-called sacrifice. But in the Vedic sacrifices, in some cases there is recommendation of animal killing. That animal killing does not mean killing the animal and eat. No. It was a test. A old, an old animal was put into the sacrificial fire and the animal would come in new body, young. That is animal. But to give, to test the Vedic mantra, whether it is properly chanted, yeah, then the result will be that if you put one old body, it will come new body. So such kind of brahmana is not available in this age, Kaliju. Uh, Jagik brahmana. They buy mantra, they, could, they would ignite fire. Fire was not required matches by mantra. Uh, simply by mantra, the old uh, body of an animal will turn to be young. But because the jagik brahman cannot do that, there is no yoga, not possible. Therefore, uh, these kind of yogas are prohibited in this kaliju. In the Kali Yuga, the only one Jagga is this Sankirtana. Jaggai Sankirtanai Prajai Jajanti Hi Sumedha. Those who are intelligent persons, they know this kind of Jagga will not be successful because people do not know, they cannot chant the mantras rightly, neither there is facility, so many things. Therefore, in this age, dull age, the only concession is uh, to perform saṅkīrtana yagya. Yagyai saṅkīrtana. And yagya means to worship the Supreme Law. Vishnu, yagyai, varnāsamacāravatā puruṣīna parapumā, Vishnu āradhate, the real purpose is to worship Lord Vishnu. Nanna tattva sukha. Therefore, performance of yoga is required. So, this yoga in this age, Kali is 
as chanting of Hare Krishna Mantra. Jagai Sankirtana, congregation India, as we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. This is performance of Jagga. Uh, <coughs> so, by performance of this Jagga, the result will be the Cheta Darpana Marjanam. As Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Cheta Darpana Marjanam Bhava Mahadavagni Nidbhapanam Sreya Kairava Chandrika Abhitaranam Vidyamadhu Jeevanam Anandam Budi Vardhanam Pratipadam Purnam Mritaswadanam Param Vijayati Sri Krishna Sankirtana. By chanting Lord Krishna's name, that is also confirmed in the Shastra, Kirtanadeva Krishnasya Mukta Sangha Parang Brajat. Uh, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said uh, by Sukadev Goswami, uh, <coughs> there are so many faults in this age. Uh, uh, the, some of them are described in the Srimad Bhagavatam as I was describing yesterday, the dubhikha, anāvishti dubhikha karapīrita, ākhipta āchinna dāradhravina gacchanti girikāna. The kalijo will be so much disturbing that people will be harassed, especially by three things, anāvishti. There will be uh, practically no rainfall. It is stated that there will be cloud in the sky. When there is rain, no rainfall, people will be hankering after, just like sometimes we hanker after rain in summer season, looking after when rainfall will come. The people will be disappointed. There will be cloud, there will be thundering, bold, but there will be no rain. Uh, this time will be like anabristi. <coughs> anabristi and durvikha. And if there is anabristi, scarcity of rain, certainly there will be no food grain production as it is now we are feeling. Food grain production, 8 rupees kilo rice. So why? The food grain is shortage. Tanavishti, Durbikha, and Karopirita. And people will be harassed by government taxation. Karopirita. Uh, government will. Dasyudharma vi. It is said the government means a gang of rogues and thieves. That is stated in the Srimad Bhagavad. They will plunder. The rogues and thieves, they seek opportunity secretly, and the government by law they will plunder, and still they will go on as big minister. This is all stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam. The people will be so harassed in this age that out of disgust they will give up their family life. Achinna dāradhavina gacchanti girikāna. Shikāram eva hi udbāhe. There will be no marriage. Uh, this is also Vedic culture, uh, to get married. But there will be no marriage. Uh, one woman, one man will live together by agreement. And as soon as the agreement is finished, they will be separated. That is now uh, very prominent in Western countries. Uh, Sikara may be Hudvai. There is no such thing. Just like the father of the girl, they will find out a suitable boy. And the father of the girl, they will also find out. The horoscope, formerly these things were very current. Without, uh, there is, uh, I mean to say, coincidence of the horoscope that this boy. And this girl would live very happily. 
by horoscopic calculation. Uh, then marriage would not take place. Then the family consideration, whether the boy is coming from suitable family or the girl is coming from suitable, so many things are there. Then marriage would take But that kind of marriage is practically already stopped. Uh, here, at the present moment, means simply agreement. I like you, you like me, that's all. Right. Let us live together. Sikarame vahi udbahe. Dampate rotime vahi. Husband and wife's relationship means sex. Uh, there is no other purpose. As soon as there is some difficulty in sex enjoyment, they will be separated. Uh, these are all mentioned. Lavanam Keshadharam. Now, in the Western countries here also, they are keeping long hair. So that will be beauty. Lavanam Keshadharam. Lavanam means luster of the body. The people will think if I keep long hair, then I have become very beautiful. Uh, the hippies, you see, long beard, long hair, they are thinking we have become very beautiful. So these are all stated. Sutra meva hi viprate. A Brahman means having a two pies worth of thread. That's all. Uh, thread. Simply to possess one thread, one becomes Brahman. Simply by changing the dress from white to saffron color, one becomes sunless. Uh, no, there are duties of sannyasis, or the brahman, or the uh, uh, grihastha, vānaprastha, there are duties. So in this way kali is polluted. Everything is contaminated, polluted. Uh, the, it is called the osana faults, because the life is meant for liberation. If one is not interested in liberation simply for sense gratification, that is conditional life. They do not know it. But here it is stated that chita khalu asya bandhaya muktaye atmana matam. The consciousness is the main principle either for conditional life or for liberation, uh, consciousness. We are proposing Krishna consciousness movement means liberation. Liberation. What liberation? Liberation means uh, to stop repetition of birth and death. They do not have idea that birth and death can be stopped. Uh, they think it cannot be stopped. More uh, big, big scientists, uh, they cannot stop. Uh, Bhagavan Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that you should keep in your front four different types of miserable condition. What is that? Janma mittu jarabhyadhi. Uh, you may be very advanced in scientific knowledge. But what is, where is the possibility of stopping this four principle of miserable condition of life? Janma mitu jarabhat. Dukha doshanu darsanam. They are not interested. But when we can stop these four principles of miserable condition, namely, no more birth, no more death, no more disease, no more old age. That is called liberation. You can have it. Simply you have to clear your consciousness. You have to clear your consciousness. How to clear? Guneshu Sakta Mandhaya. If you become conscious of these three material modes of nature, then it is for bondage. Ratangva bhumsi muktaya. And when your consciousness is Krishnaist, 
simply think of Krishna, then it is liberation. A clear idea. So this Krishna consciousness movement is to keep the mind and consciousness always in Krishna. Pungshi. Pungshi. Pungshi means the Supreme Personality of God. He is a person. He is a male, not female. Pungshi. Purusha. Purusha, not Sri. When Krishna was realized by Arjuna, he addressed him, uh, Purusham, Shasat, uh, uh, Parabrahma Param Dhamma, Pavitam Paramam Bhava, uh, Purusham, God is Purusha, not female. Purusha means enjoy, and Prakriti means enjoy. Everything is enjoyed by the Supreme Purusha. We are also prakriti. That is also state. We are not purusha. This days may be that is Maya, illusion. Actually, we are purusha and prakriti main. Here, the so called Oman is also purusha. Uh, purusha means enjoy. The Oman, they are also thinking how to enjoy. And man is also thinking how to enjoy. Therefore, imitation, purusha, but actually that prakriti. Uh, it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, aparāyam itastu viddhime prakritiṁ pārā. The living entities, they are prakriti, uh, and they are trying to be purusha, enjoy. This is material world. Therefore they are attached to the three gunas, uh, they, because they want to enjoy. This material, artificially trying to become purusha. Purusha means India. As such, they are attached to this material world. And material world means guna, three guna. And according to attachment, they are getting different types of bodies. That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Karanam guna saṅga asya sadasat janma janish. Why there are different types of bodies? Why one living entity is dog? And why one living entity is uh, first class, Brahman? Uh, because Karanam guna saṅgaśya, the one who has got a learned Brahmin's body, that means he has associated with the uh, modes of nature, goodness, satta sama dhamma titikha. Uh, this is elevation. If one is in the modes of goodness, then he can understand gradually uh, what is God, what is Krishna. Uh, otherwise, in the uh, modes of passion and ignorance, nobody can understand what is God. Uh, not only that, even from material prosperity, if one is situated in the modes of goodness, then he can be elevated to the higher planetary system. Sargalok, Janalok, Mahalok, Tapalok, Brahmalok, Satyalok, Urdhanga, Chanti, Satyasva. So these are needed. But anyway, even if you go to the Brahmaloka, that is not also perfection. Abrahma Bhavana Loka and Punaravatina. There is no benefit because there also the four principles of miserable condition, janma, mitta, jarabhadi, they are there. Even in the Brahma Lok, Brahma also dies. Brahma also takes birth. You know it. Brahma, he also took birth from the lotus flower generated from the navel of Vishnu. So there was birth. and. When Brahma will die, whole material cosmic manifestation will be finished. So he has also birth and death, uh, and old age and disease. And the small ant or insect, it has also the same disease, old age, birth and death. So one has to become free from this bondage, uh, because we are eternal. 
न जायते न मियते भगवत गीता से लिविंग एंटिटी नेवर टेक्स बार्थ नेवर डाइज देन वाई इवन ब्रह्मा इज डाइज ब्रह्मा इज ऑल्सो डाइ दैट इज मैटीरियल लाइफ दैट इज बॉन्डनेस बंधन कुनेशु शक्त बंधाय द वन शुड नॉट थिंक दैट आई हैव गॉट मिलियंस ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स ड्यूरेशन ऑफ लाइफ देफर आई एम लिबरेटेड नो ब्रह्मा ही हैज गॉट मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स एज वन डे ट्वेल्व आवर्स आवर ट्वेल्व आवर्स सहस युग पर्यतम और हजत ब्रह्म नो विदु तो ही इज ऑल्सो सब्जेक्टेड टू बर्थ एंड डेथ दैट इज कंडीशन एंड लाइफ No, we have forgotten this. Uh, we Indians, Bharatiya, we have got these advantages, the perfect knowledge given by the Vedic literature, by great rishis and Bhagavan Sang, Kapil Dev, Bhagavan Krishna, and uh, we are neglecting. We have become so unfortunate. Huh? <coughs> There is a poet has says. जा आपन धन बिलाए दिए भिक्षा मागे पड़े का वी हैव लस्ट आवार ओन कल्चर ना वी आर बेगर वी आर गोईंग टू फरेन कान्ट्रीज टू बेग सन अफकोर्स आई हैव गन टू फरेन कान्ट्रीज नट टू बेग बट टू गिव आदर्स गो दे आर टू बेग गिव मी ग्रेन गिव मी मनी गिव मी सोल्जर बट वी हैव नट गन वी हैव गॉट टू गिव दैम देर फॉर these european americans are attracted because i am giving them not taking from them that is the difference that seen many big big person go to the foreign countries only to beg but nobody goes there to give so the indian culture is so rich that you can give to the whole world whole world that is chaitanya mahaprabhu's mission भारत भूमि मनुष्य जन्म हिल जा जन्म सार्थक करी करो परोपकार दे आर गेटिंग लाइफ दे कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस मीन्स गेटिंग लाइफ दे आर ए एक्सास्टेड विथ इज मेटीरियलिस्टिक वे ऑफ लाइफ दे आर गेटिंग सम न्यू लाइफ दैट इज वॉन्ट बिकॉज मुक्त है वी लिविंग एंटिटीज वी आर बाय नेचर liberated there is no question of birth and death old age and disease mumai vamsu jeeva bhuta we are part and parcel of krishna the supreme lord uh, so how there can be birth and death and old age and disease sachidanand vigrah krishna is sachidanand vigrah ishara parama krishna sachidanand vigrah anadi radi govind anadi there is no question of birth and death so we being part and parcel of krishna we are also of the same nature ha uh, equal in quality not in quantity so why should he suffer this birth and death uh, <coughs> that for in the beginning our kapil dev's instruction he said yoga adhyatmitam pungsha jato nishreshaya That is yoga. What is that? Uh, that is explained. That adhyatmika to save the soul. The soul is entrapped in this body, material body, and to save it, no more death, no more birth, no more old age. That is what. Uh, that is perfect yoga. Uh, so how this perfect yoga can be uh, achieved? That is explained in this verse. Uh, uh, pungsi, ratangva pungsi mukta. If you your consciousness is become uh, is uh, attached to Krishna, uh, only thinking of Krishna that will give you liberation. Satatanki tantangma jatantaschadi rabrata. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. All is chanting about me. हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 
and jatantasya dhirabhrata and enlivening with great determination. Uh, just like you see in this temple, they rise early in the morning at uh, four o'clock, immediately after taking bath, being prepared. Uh, they offer the Mangalaratri at five o'clock, kirtan, then study. There are rules and regulations. Uh, that is called bhajana kriya. A bhajana ram is the mind and thing. You cannot do so. You must go through the process. Bhajana kriya. Adho sadhya tato sadhu sangha. Ata bhajana kriya. Ata anatha nivitti sya. Tato nishta tato ruchi. Tato bhava. Sadhu kanam ayam premna pradur bhavi bhavet karma. If you want to uh, awaken your dormant love for Krishna. There is, because you are part and parcel. Just like father and son, there is natural love. But somehow or other, son is out of home and forgotten. Father, of course, thinks, my such and such son has gone out. Uh, if he comes back. So Krishna thinks like that. Because you are sons of Krishna, Krishna is more anxious to get us back to home, back to home. Therefore he comes and says, You rascal, give up all this engagement. Sarva dharma and paritajya. We have manufactured so many dharmas. Deho dharma, samaj dharma, desha dharma, this dharma, that dharma, Hindu dharma, Muslim dharma, this. No! Simply surrender unto me. That is dharma. Sarva dharma an He Krishna comes to teach us. Uh, Krishna is very, very anxious. Yada yadahi dharma saglani bhavati vara. Tadatmanam sijam. Uh, Krishna comes himself. Krishna leaves behind him his word, bopu and bani. Bani means the words. Uh, that is also Krishna. That is all. Just like we do not see Krishna now. We can see Krishna if we actually advance. Here is Krishna. But they will say, hey, this is his idol. This is an idol. This is not Krishna. But Krishna, if you think that you have not seen Krishna, the Krishna is present by his word also. Bhagavad Gita. That is Bani. Krishna Bani. So this this stage can be achieved when one is advanced in Krishna consciousness, that Krishna is present as the deity, Krishna is present by his words in Bhagavad-gītā, Krishna is present uh, as the taste in the water, Krishna is present as sun sign, Krishna is present as moon sign, Krishna is present in the sound, the is pataka, he is also present there. Sabda ke, ah, the sabda, the sound. Krishna says that I am the sound. So Krishna is present everywhere. One has to gain the knowledge how to see Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. That is mukti. If you remain always in Krishna consciousness, that means you are on the liberated stage. And that is called bhakti yoga. Savanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam padasivanam archanam bandhanam das. Diti varsiv is archanam. Chanting is bandhanam. Dasam, to work for Krishna. Go and see people, preach Krishna consciousness, distribute books. In so many ways, Krishna consciousness can be. So everything is being done. People may take advantage of it. Then immediately he becomes mukta. The consciousness, Krishna consciousness, then is mukta. Mancha bhavicharini bhakti yogina ja sevati. Sagunana samatita etana brahma bhuyata. If we are engaged in devotional service, bhakti yoga, then we are liberated. 
Mant Krishna says, Mantra Bhavichai, without any stoppage. Uh, con, uh, continuously, something in Krishna. Mantra Bhavicharani Bhakti Yoga. There are so many ways of Bhakti Yoga. Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Pada Sayyavanam, Archanam, Bandhanam, Dasam, any of them. You take, that is Krishna consciousness. The main is Savanam. Just you are hearing. Uh, this is the beginning. Adho uh, Sraddha. This is Sraddha. Here yeah, people are talking about Krishna. Why not hear us? Let me hear. Uh, that is Sraddha. Little faith. Uh, you have come here with little faith. That increasing of that faith is advancement of Krishna consciousness. That is required. Tadu Sraddha. First of all, little faith. Let us see. Then sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha. Uh, they are the sadhus, the devotees who are living in the temple. If you associate with them, talk with them about Krishna, then you will be benefited. Sadhu uh, sadhya tatu sadhu. Then gradually bhajana kriya. Uh, Vajana Kriya actually engaged us officially being initiated to take service of the Lord. That is called Vajana Kriya. And Vajana Kriya means anartha nivitishya. Then anartha, all these rascal habits, namely illicit sex and intoxication, meat eating and gambling, nivitti, nama. That is the taste. The way that you are actually or uh, initiate. Uh, if you are still attached to this, bhakti parishanu bhava virakti, if you are not detestful to all this nonsense habit, then you must know that you are not making any progress. Uh, you are not making any progress, because this is the result. Anartha nivittisya, if you are actually making an horn in bhajana kriya, then this attachment will be finished. Nama, parang dhishtyanivartat. Not by force, but appreciating something better condition of life, one rejects all this nonsense. Uh, that is advancement. Uh, bhajana kriya. By bhajana kriya, by being initiated and executing the bhajan, now one must be detestful. Dan nishtha, tato nishtha, phan phe, tato ruchi. Uh, which you mean test. You cannot do without it. Uh, it's like the drunkard. He, he cannot remain without drinking. Similarly, a devotee is also drunkard. He cannot remain without Krishna consciousness. Uh, that is called ruchi, test. Tatu ruchi. Tatha shakti. Then attachment. Uh, that is equal. Shakta, Shakta Rasakti said. Uh, if our attachment is for this material enjoyment, that is bondage. Uh, that means we have to accept another body. Tatha uh, Dehantara Prapti, you cannot avoid. Uh, because if you infect some disease, then you must suffer from it. Uh, if you infect, that is a practical knowledge. If you infect some disease, the karanam as soon as you infect this tamagon, rajagon, uh, you have to, uh, what is called, immune from infection. That immunity is Krishna consciousness. And if you are not immune, you are subjected to the infection, then you must get another body of the same quality. karanam guna so to remain free from the infection of this guna, then we have to engage ourselves in the bhakti yoga. Uh, that is stated. Mancha bhavicharini bhakti yoga na jasevate sagunana samatita. Then he is immune to the infection of this guna. Uh, so this is the process, and we have to learn it by sadhu sangha. Adho sadhya tato sadhu sangha. Tato bhajana kriya, tato anartha nivittishya, tato nishtha, tato ruchi, tatha shakti, 
In this way there will be asakti and bhava. Then you attain the perfectional state that is called uh, ecstatic state of love of God. And then you cannot remain without Krishna and then that bhava increase. Uh, that the mahabhava. That mahabhava is not possible in the ordinary human being, but it is possible for the gopis, for Radharan. Uh, they uh, cannot live without Krishna. That is the highest stage of perfection or liberation. Thank you very much.